Hi, hello, I'm Ruby. Press like if your parents often say that you spend too much time on social media too. Let's see how many of us have the same problem. <laughs> the holidays finally came. I was planning to spend the whole summer in my room with my phone, posting selfies and talking to my followers. It was nuts how many of them I had. After all, I was very beautiful and my photos always got hundreds of likes. Mom and dad kept telling me that my followers couldn't replace real friends. <laughs> my phone is my best friend. No, Ruby, you should spend time outdoors and talk to people. Ugh, not that again. <sighs> dad started telling me about all the great times he'd had back at Sunny Valley Camp. We went hiking, shot arrows, and rode bikes. I wish I could go back to that carefree time, even for just a day. And then he got a brilliant idea. Can you guess what it was? Yeah, he decided to send me to that camp. I tried to talk him out of it, but it was useless. I waved goodbye to having a carefree summer. I looked around the camp when I got there. Wooden houses for two, a cold lake, and no Wi-Fi. Holy crud, it was freaking terrible. At least the boys were cute though. I had three favorites. Jerkin was the son of a rich European aristocrat. No wow. wonder the girls stuck to him like flies on honey. Thomas was an athlete from California. And Kyle was quiet, but rumor had it he was the smartest student at his school. My housemate was a nightmare called Lily, an arrogant girl who couldn't go even five minutes without admiring her own reflection. She basically wow. immediately declared that she was the most beautiful girl at the camp, so the rest of us would have to stay in her shadow. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then that upstart hung her clothes in my closet because hers apparently wasn't big enough to fit all of them. My clothes are expensive, so they'll stay here. You can keep your rags under the bed. Excuse me? There could only be one queen at the camp, so I didn't hesitate to throw her clothes back on the floor. Huh? Lily had no idea who she was messing with. Her eyes flashed angrily. Uh, you'll regret this. She picked up the family photo that I'd put on the table and threw it into the trash. Ugh. We were about to start fighting like wildcats, but it was time for lunch. This isn't over. It was a very long day. I wasn't up to fighting her by the time evening came. I texted my parents that the camp was terrible and I immediately fell asleep. I was woken up by a strange noise outside. What was that? I was out for blood. If I didn't get enough sleep, I would have dark circles under my eyes. I angrily looked at my window and saw something crazy. <gasps> a bear was walking through the camp. I freaked out and quietly woke Lily up. She peeked out from under her blanket looking annoyed as hell. What do you want? Look! She came up to the window and <gasps> we both watched the bear go up to the lake, jump into it and swim to the other side. If Lily hadn't seen it too, I would have been sure it was all a dream. We looked at each other dumbfounded and decided to talk to the counselors in the morning. I was worried they wouldn't believe us. However, our counselor Nancy started knocking on everyone's doors at dawn, angrily asking who dare pull such a prank. Huh? It turned out that while everyone was sleeping, someone had stolen the camp's mascot costume and dumped it into the lake. So it wasn't a real bear that we'd seen. Phew, I was glad there were no predators around, but it all seemed kind of fishy. But soon, I forgot all about it. Lily bumped into me at breakfast and I dropped my tray. <gasps> Oops, I'm so sorry, that was an accident. Oh, I didn't get enough sleep last night. <clears throat> an accident? Yeah, right. When those three handsome boys I told you about saw that I was left with no food, they offered me some yogurt and juice. <laughs> that was so cute. I didn't know which one to choose. I wanted to show up Lily though, so I agreed to have breakfast with Jurgen. I noticed you right away. You're the most beautiful girl here. Say that louder so the girl over there can hear. <laughs> I spent the whole day with Jurgen. I really liked him. <laughs> when he asked me if I wanted to go to the first party at camp with him, I agreed. Something weird happened at lunch though. A guy suddenly stood on a table so everyone would see him and said he was afraid of the dark so he would sleep with his teddy bear. Everyone huh? laughed and the guy turned red and ran away. Um, <laughs> so that was weird, right? In the evening, I noticed that Lily was very out of sorts. <laughs> but of course, she was probably jealous because all the boys had fallen for me. But then I was woken up again by a weird noise. This time though, it was Lily's fault. She got out of bed and was sneaking around the house. Hmm. The bear, the scene in the dining room, Lily's nighttime walks. What was going on at this camp? I put on a gorgeous dress for the party the next day and I looked like a supermodel. Jurgen picked me up and gave me beautiful flowers. Wow. I felt like I was in a fairy tale. 
However, after the first dance, huh? Jerkin suddenly coldly said he was tired of me. I'm sorry, but I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Uh, wow. I spent the rest of the evening trying to figure out why Jerkin was huh? acting like that. However, he wasn't paying any attention to me anymore. <laughs> Whatever. I decided to leave and go to bed, but then Thomas caught up to me. He looked very nervous. I like you, Ruby, so I want you to know the truth. He took out his phone and opened up an app called Truth or Dare. It was huh? an online game that many of the kids at the camp apparently played. All you had to do was register and then wait until you were told what to do or to confess to. After that, you could come up with a task and send it to another player. The most interesting thing was that the game was completely anonymous. Nobody knew who they'd gotten the task from or who they were sending their tasks to. Wow, so that was why someone had taken a swim in the lake in a bear costume. The guy in the dining room must have chosen truth. But the worst thing was that Jurgen had never actually liked me. He had just needed to dance with me for the game? Ugh, how dare he treat me like that? I'd get back at Jurgen for that. Thomas smiled slyly and said that he didn't like Jurgen either, so he'd help me. He told me his plan, and I rubbed my hands together gleefully. <laughs> Awesome. I wanted to make Jurgen feel like I had, so I also downloaded the game and waited for my turn to come up with a task. In the meantime, I spent all my time with Thomas. He taught me some cool tricks with the ball and made me laugh a lot. Soon, I got a notification saying I was supposed to anonymously come up with a task for the next participant that chose Dare. Hmm. Thomas had told me that Jurgen's parents had given him a brand new phone that he was obsessing over. So I told the next player to smear Jurgen's phone with chocolate paste. <laughs> it was time to start having some fun. Thomas and I hid on the playground and watched Jurgen. He was flirting with some girls when Kyle came up to him looking tenser than ever. Dude, can I borrow your phone for a sec? I want to, um, ask my parents for a phone like yours. Hmm, sure. Here, just be careful. Then, Kyle took a jar of Nutella and smeared it all over Jurgen's phone. The boy clutched his head in <gasps> horror and Kyle shrugged guiltily. Sorry, that dumb game told me to do it. I should have never even played it. I was quite surprised that Kyle knew about the game <laughs> and even got my task, but I felt avenged. While Jurgen was licking chocolate paste <laughs> off his phone, Thomas and I were rolling on the lawn laughing. He turned out to be a good friend and he liked me. <laughs> Our eyes met, and my heart started pounding. Thank you for being there for me, Thomas. <laughs> You're fun. And then I gratefully kissed Thomas on the cheek and immediately heard a strange Mwah. click. I turned my head and I realized he'd taken a selfie of us. Hey, ask first. Oh, sorry, I'll delete it. Thank you, you're adorable. After that, we chatted some more and he walked me back to my house. Maybe it was a good thing that my parents had sent me to Sunny Valley. After all, hmm. I was over the moon when I was with Thomas. Unfortunately, my neighbor ruined my mood. <laughs> Lily kept squinting at me and giggling. Oh, just admit that you're jealous. <laughs> jealous of what exactly? Lily took out her phone and opened the camp's group chat. Everyone was discussing and liking the selfie of me and Thomas. <gasps> what? Had he done it all for the game? He promised he would delete that picture. <sighs> I demanded an explanation. What's the meaning of this? It's nothing personal, Ruby. You're cool, but I had to get you to kiss me. I had to become your friend so you would trust me. No hard feelings, okay? <sighs> it was nuts. Thomas had just hit on me because of the game. I felt gutted and betrayed. I slammed the door and I went to my room. I didn't want Lily to see how upset I was, so I crawled under the covers and I texted my parents that I wanted to go home. This camp was hell on earth. That night, I heard Lily leaving the house again. Hmm. She was probably also playing truth or dare and went somewhere at night to do whatever had been asked of her. So I decided to follow her. That psycho was swimming in complete darkness. Can you imagine? I chuckled to myself and uh, <laughs> Lily heard me. Ruby, is that you? Yeah. What are you doing here? She said she was having a hard time and suffered from insomnia. Swimming helped her to relax and fall asleep. You should try it too. The water is warm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was sure that if I got into the lake, Lily would just take my clothes and run away to play the game some more. Obviously, I didn't agree. Thanks, but I'm not an idiot. In the morning, my parents texted me that if I didn't change my mind after the weekend, they would come and get me. <gasps> Hallelujah! I just had to endure it for a few more days, and I'd be home. 
I walked around the camp gloomily and constantly looking around. I was sure that everyone was playing that dumb game, so I just expected them to do something nasty. That day, we were spending the night in tents by the lake. I didn't like camping, so while everyone was telling horror stories around the campfire, I sat away from them and threw stones into the water. I hate this place. To my surprise, Kyle sat down next to me. He smiled sheepishly and asked me why I wasn't having fun with everyone else. And then he admitted that he'd liked me ever since the first day. I really like you, but I was afraid to talk to you because I was sure a girl like you would never even look at me. Kyle was trying very hard to seem nice and friendly, but I'd already been burned. So I immediately realized that all he cared about was the game. I wasn't about to buy it again. So I decided I would strike first. I pretended to believe him, and I even said I liked him too. And then I suggested we go for a swim. I was planning on stealing his clothes like Lily had tried to steal mine. One of my friends told me it's very relaxing. Oh, no, go without me. I'll tell you a secret, Ruby. I'm not a good swimmer. I'm afraid of water. Hmm, that's perfect. I innocently batted my eyelashes and asked him to at least go on a boat ride with me. I I'd be happy to. We got into the boat and rowed it deep into the lake. I pretended to drop my ring into the water. He bent down to try and fish it out, and I pushed Kyle on the back, and he fell <laughs> overboard. Of course, it's not like he was in any danger because it wasn't deep, and the boat was still close. But he started waving his arms and shouting like a wacko. It looked so weird that everyone on the shore started laughing. When we got out of the lake, a wet mm. and angry Kyle asked me why I'd done something so mean. Oh, please. I know that you're just playing truth or dare and wanted me to fall for you because of it. Just like all the guys who've messed with me before you. I'm not a moron. What? I played the game, but the tasks got too cruel and it stopped being fun. So I deleted the app. I really do like you. I didn't believe Kyle. I told him no one would be fooling me again, and I went to my room. But on the way there, I saw something weird. While everyone was by the lake, Thomas had painted over the windows of the counselor's house. When he saw me, he tiredly said it was just another crazy task from the game. It's all Kyle's fault. He deleted the app, so it was my turn again. Wait, so Kyle had told me the truth? He actually liked me then. I didn't know if I could trust anyone anymore, so I decided I would get some sleep first. However, when I walked into the house, I saw Lily crying. What happened? Did you run out of your favorite lipstick? You're not funny! I'm just trying to make you smile. Why are you crying? She told me that her parents had sent her to the camp so she wouldn't get in the way while they were getting a divorce. Poor thing. And it turned out that Lily hadn't even heard about the game. She had just been acting nasty because she was stressed. So that's why she had thrown out the picture of my parents and why she suffered from insomnia. I'm so sorry. No one should have to go through something like that alone. Thank you. We chatted all throughout the night about school, our favorite TV shows, and boys. We joked a lot and realized we also had a lot in common. If neither of us had been acting so arrogant, we totally would have been friends from the start. I went to the dining room the next morning and realized that all the boys looked pissed off. They kept glancing at each other suspiciously, waiting for someone to mess with them. The counselors were rushing back and forth, confused. Yikes. There was paint on the windows and lawn and gum on the benches. The game had clearly gotten out of control. I thought about the way my dad spoke about the camp. It looked more like a battlefield than he'd ever described it. And then I got an idea. I came to the center of the dining room and I made a speech. I tried to inspire them and said that we should all stop being mean to each other. We should be having fun and making friends. I've deleted the app. Instead, I wrote a bunch of nice things to do on pieces of paper and put them in the jar. Anyone can take one and do something good. At first, everyone looked at each other incredulously. But then, Lily and Kyle came up to the jar and each pulled out a single piece of paper. After that, the other kids followed their example. And soon, we'd cleaned up the camp's territory. We really had gone too far playing the game. Everyone started making pleasant surprises for each other wow. and we all soon became friends. I apologized to Kyle and he forgave me. You were betrayed twice. It's no wonder you thought I was lying too. Let's just forget about it. Life at the camp became good. And mm -hmm. after that weekend, my parents came to see me. Boats, bicycles, archery, and fun? This place hasn't changed at all. I smiled slyly to myself. I was so glad Dad hadn't seen what was going on at camp a couple days ago. And of course, I didn't want to go home anymore. After all, I had a boyfriend and a good friend right next to me. I'll never forget my holidays. Tell me, would you be able to spend the holidays without social media?